Good morning! We're here at the Lawn Lake Trailhead inside the Rocky Mountain National Park. And today we're going to go for Chiquita Lake. Looking at about 5.5 miles out with right around a 2,700 foot elevation gain. Official start time, 7.15. And according to the sign, 4.5 miles out to Ypsilon Lake. I gotta get this side scroller right off the bat. Really pretty over there. And we can hear the elk going crazy. We just got done taking a quick little five minute break. We were trying to see if the light would come over the mountain there, but it didn't. I feel like it might be another 15 or 20 minutes. So we're gonna keep going. And we have finally made it up here to the trail split. We're gonna stay to the left Head on up to Ypsilon Lake. stairs right here my goodness and we finally got the Sun all right we're just riding this ridge all the way up the scenery doesn't change too much along here and it looks like we've got a couple more miles until we hit the lakes. I say lakes because there's also a, this little one on the way called like Chipmunk Lake. We're well over 10,300 right now. And it looks like the trail's gonna top out at about 10,700. And then we're gonna drop it down about 100 feet to Ypsilon Lake. But there's really not much to video along here. It's all kind of the same. All right, and we have finally topped out here at just under 10,700. And we're less than two tenths of a mile away from Chipmunk Lake. It's just now 9.50, which means it took about two hours and 35 minutes to get up here. And I present to you, Chipmunk Lake. And then behind it out there, it's going to be Ypsilon Mountain on the right, Mount Chiquita on the left. And in just over three hours, we're up here to Ypsilon Lake.
from here, this is where the hike is going to start getting interesting. We're going to work our way over to the waterfall and then go up the left side of it. And this is going to be it right here. This is one of the really steep parts right here. And then it's also gonna get extremely steep just before we hit the lake. We're gonna have to work our way up to some shelf. Looks like we're going to have to navigate some down trees. Yeah, just climb over it. Just Yeah, like you're climbing a fence. Okay. Yeah, you got this second one? This part through here is really steep, however it's short-lived. You don't have to deal with it for very long. And we just made it up the real steep section and it kind of flattens out for a second. Yeah, nice job. This thing is within reach. I think we can get it. And then after you navigate the waterfall, you need to look for this little bridge right here. And there's the second bridge. So we're looking good. And the trail continues. We're gonna have to navigate this little rock slide. And then right here is where you'd split off if you wanted to do Spectacle Lakes. You'd wanna head up in that direction. However, we're gonna take this little tiny social trail right here to the left. And then this should lead up to Chiquita Lake. I have a feeling this is gonna get brutal. If we can maintain a trail this nice all the way up there, I don't think it's gonna to be too bad. I mean, it's pretty faint, but it's followable. Followable. It looks like we're gonna start going up right here we're staying on it we're having to navigate a down tree every now and then but it's not too bad just really steep and if there is a trail out here we're on it right now it's super faint but i think we're still doing this correctly We just broke through the trees, and I believe I can see the shelf up there where Chiquita Lake is. And it doesn't look too, too far away at all. Maybe three, four tenths of a mile. We're getting down to the nitty gritty. It's just a matter of how bad do we want it at this point. Whew. We're approaching four hours worth of hiking.
And this is looking up at the very final section. Just gotta climb our way up there. came around the corner and was met with a bunch of rocks. All right, nice job. We're not gonna go straight up and over this thing. We're gonna kind of angle it over here to the right. I think this might work out. Yeah, she's busting her way through the bushes right there. And that is the very last of them. Yeah, I know, that was bad right there. And this is looking behind me. This is what we got left. One final incline. Oh man. That's gonna be Ypsilon Mountain right there. And we are so close. We're like a tenth of a mile away. And what we need to do is kind of head up this little rock bridge where we can keep our elevation and then just take it up to that next shelf. We're entering the final rocky section. And this is pretty gnarly, but it's really short lived. We've only got to go maybe 30, 40 yards. looking up at the very final section. We need to take it straight up the rocks and then the lake should be right there at the top of the shelf. GPS is showing one tenth of a mile. And then of course this last part has to be blocked with bushes. So we're gonna go around them here. Chiquita Lake. And in four hours and 40 minutes, we're up here. And this was pretty difficult, actually. A little harder than what I thought it was gonna be. Oh 
All right, another awesome lake in the books. And I don't think hardly anybody comes up to this one. Like you can't find hardly any information on it online. I don't even think it was in all trails. white stripe on that rock right there is really cool. The book talks about that. We're just sitting here chilling right by the water actually. There's no wind down here. We're just enjoying this beautiful day and that's looking up and over to Ypsilon Mountain and then I just checked the GPS and the summit of Chiquita is like right up there. Right, guys it's about 12 30. we've been sitting up here at chiquita lake for about 35 minutes or so however we're trying to get back to go out to eat for my birthday so it is time to go it's time to head on back We're not really sure the way we're supposed to go right now. I'm gonna eyeball it, try and figure it out with the man skills because I can always resort to looking at the GPS. Yep, and this is the way we wanna go right here. We wanna continue on down this little grassy ramp looking down at the next section. We're almost out of it. This is the very final rocky section. And then we're gonna be back into the trees and we're gonna be whacking. We're nailing this trail on the way down. We nailed it on the way up too. And we are almost back to the split where you can take it on up to Spectacle Lakes. It's literally right there.
Remember on the way up, there were those two foot bridges? Well, we just crossed over the first one and we saw this trail off to the left and we're gonna take this down. I believe this one connects back over to the north side of the water. I've done it before. Honestly, it's six and one and a half dozen to the other. The way we came up was just loaded with down trees. So I really don't see how this could be any worse. All right, guys. And it is just now 1.30. So that means it only took one hour to get from Chiquita Lake back down here to Ypsilon Lake. Got some grouse right here. He's got his tail up. So you do have the CCY hike up in the mummies, Chapin, Chiquita, and Ypsilon. We did the CCY lake hike down here, Chipmunk, Chiquita, and Ypsilon. CCY lake hike. It's about 310 right now, and we've made it back down to the river. Back to the trail split, looking at about 1.3 miles back to the Lawn Lake Trailhead. beautiful day today which I'm really thankful for it was a great birthday hike We're almost done with this thing. Looking at maybe a half mile back down to the trailhead. And this is a really great hike. We got another beautiful day. I couldn't ask for anything more on my birthday. Got a deer about ready to cross the trail up here. There he goes. He looks like Vinny. We're doing this a little different. We're coming down the horse trail. Thought we'd give it a try. But it's just now 345. 
which means that that took us three hours and 15 minutes to come down. It took us four hours and 40 minutes to get up. And that is every bit of 11 miles total. For sure. All right, Chiquita Lake got it. Boom, nice job. That was a great birthday hike. Everything went according to plan. We had a beautiful day and it's always nice to get to explore a new area of the Rocky Mountain National Park. We hope you enjoyed it and until the next hike y'all, peace.